Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. The eMotion LV1 Master Fader Panel is a straightforward main mix section. The Master Fader has a range of minus 144 dB to plus 10 dB. When the fader is touched, its position is shown in yellow. Choose between Input or Output Meter View in the UI Settings page. Select Pre or Post Fader Metering. The Master Bus Selector buttons determine which mix bus is currently controlled by the Master Fader. Left Right, Center, or Mono. The selected bus is mapped to the Master Fader and its name is displayed on the button above. The master output meter indicates the peak level of the selected main bus. The peak clip indicator shows the peak level of the selected main mix. When the peak level of either input or output signal exceeds the specified clip threshold setting, the value box is red. The clip threshold can be set below zero to provide a warning before the bus actually clips. Peak, Clip, and Hold behavior are set in the User Interface Settings page. The Master Fader Mute button mutes the selected master bus. When muted manually, it's steady red. It flashes when controlled by a mute group or a link. The Main Bus Q button activates the send to the Q or Solo bus for monitoring the master channel. Clear all instances with the Clear Solo button on the top bar. When sending channels or groups to aux buses, you can flip the mixer so that the channel faders control the aux effects or aux monitor send controls. This is the Sends on Faders mode. In this mode, the master fader controls the level of the aux channel. The name of the channel is shown above. To return the mixer to its normal operation mode, click on the button or on the aux send name on the left side of the modes section. To learn more about working in the sends on faders mode, watch lessons 3.6, channel aux sends, and 4.9, aux channel mode. As you've seen, the eMotion LV1 Master Fader section does just what you'd expect it to do. It controls the main outputs. Use the patch window to route these outputs to IOs. In the next video, we'll visit the various utility functions in the mixer window. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.